Hello and welcome to Lore of the Cards, the series that looks to find the lore hidden in your Hearthstone deck. Karazhan is opening up its doors. I've got my invitation, I've dressed up fancy, and I'm off to the party, hoping to impress all the guests with my interesting tales of some of the adventure's cards. I'm just that cool. Ladies? No? Okay, I'll be in the corner. Today, we take a look at the lore surrounding the towering ivory curator. And while we're at it, we may as well look at the arcane golems as well, since there's only a tiny amount of lore behind both these cards. Either way, grab a drink and some nibbles, and I hope you enjoy. The art of the curator was produced by Wei Wang, an artist belonging to the in-house Blizzard team dubbed the Sons of the Storm, producing many of Blizzard's best-known images. The arcane golem art is produced by the Indonesian artist, get ready for some name butchering, Sedheu Ardian a member of the Chekidot Studio, a collection of artists mentored by the veteran illustrator Admira Wijayu. <laughs> Nailed it. The Golem art was originally produced for the Warcraft trading card game's Arcane Protector card. Arcane golems like the Curator are mechanical constructs powered by magical energy, the crystal at the centre of the construct acting as its heart, responsible for supplying this power to the body. Possibly, they were created by the High Elves, an assumption on my part as it is the High Elves that most frequently put Arcane Golems to use. These giants were first seen in the Warcraft universe in World of Warcraft's Burning Crusade expansion, patrolling the streets of the Blood Elf capital of Silvermoon. Many High Elves have renamed themselves the Blood Elves in honour of those of their race that had fallen before the mighty undead scourge that swept through their lands and exterminated a huge number of their people. The devastating attack wiped out 90% of the High Elf race. After the end of an event known as the Third War, which saw the second invasion of the Burning Legion, who saw Azeroth's destruction, repelled, the Elves, now no longer a member of the Alliance, reclaimed their home. Their leader, Kael'thas Sunstrider, travelled to Outland with Illidan Stormrage to try and find methods with which to sate the Blood Elves' craving for magic. The Scourge had corrupted the Sunwell, a font of magical power which the Elves had become dependent on. Without its magical energy, much of the race had begun to experience withdrawal. Lothamar Theron was left in charge as the Regent of Silvermoon by Kael'thas, and he would later ally with the Horde. Under Lothamar's rule, arcane protectors strode the streets, acting as peacekeepers and frequently spewing lines of propaganda such as, maintain order within these walls, obey the laws of Silvermoon, failure to do so will result in termination, and do not disturb the serenity of the city, peace must be upheld. Being magically powered machines, the arcane golem are capable of malfunctioning. Arcane patrollers marched through the streets of the ruin section of the Blood Elves capital. Their programming had failed due to age, attacking Blood Elves on sight, but still spouting lines of propaganda. New Blood Elf recruits were sent into the ruins to obtain the golem's arcane cores so that they could be used for the construction of new arcane golems. Arcane Golems were not just found in Silvermoon, but also upon the Scryers tier in the city of Shatrath in Outland. The Scryers were a faction of Blood Elves led by Vorenthal the Seer, ordered by Kael'thas to attack the Draenei city of Shatrath. Vorenthal's army marched into the city, but to the Draenei's surprise, the Blood Elves laid down their arms. Vorenthal had had a vision that the Blood Elves' survival hinged on serving the Naru, that also dwelt within Shatrath. The Naru were beings of energy with a deep connection to the light. This was a huge blow to Kael'thas' forces. The Scryers contained some of his best and brightest, though Varanthal's vision would later be proved correct. The Scryers were not completely welcome within Shatrath, however. Despite the Naru allowing the Scryers to stay within the city, an ancient order of Draenei priests called the Outdoor, loyal to the Naru, were not welcoming to the Scryers, many of their order previously falling in violent dispute with these elves. While open warfare between the two factions was halted, they were still hostile to each other. So to ensure their safety, the Scryers defended their tier within the city with arcane golems. 
The Scryer's golems would also be used in their fight against Kaeltha Sunstrider. Driven to desperation trying to find a cure for the Blood Elves' magic addiction, Kaelthus had aligned himself with the Burning Legion, and upon the Isle of Quel'Danas, he sought to summon the Legion Lieutenant Kil'jaeden to Azeroth. To end this threat, the Aldor and Scryers put aside their differences and formed the Shattered Sun Offensive, the Scryers bringing the Arcane Golem's strength to Quel'Danas. As heroes stormed Kael'thas's base of operation, Magister's Terrace, they discovered that he had been able to alter his arcane golems into even more powerful creations. The Sunblade Protectors had been infused with demonic energy. This fell energy would discharge from the golems as they fought, the crackling green electricity adding an additional deadly weapon, coupled with the golems' great physical strength. Kael'thas was defeated and the Sunwell was later restored after preventing Kil'jaeden entering the world. The Sunwell restored, the Blood Elves' magic addiction was sated. When Kael'thas' betrayal came to light, the Arcane Golems of Silvermoon made a minor text fix to their repertoire of propaganda. Remain strong, Kael'thas will... Error. Lothamar will lead you to power and glory. While Kael'thas' fell-infused golems were an abomination, they seemed to inspire the Horde's Blood Elves and the Alliance's Kirin Tor to amend the Arcane Golem design. The Pyre Star Demolishers and the Arcane Destroyers were put to use when fighting the forces of Lei Shen, the Thunder King, during the Mists of Pandaria expansion. The Blood Elves design kept the yellow and red colour of their previous Arcane Golems, while the Kirin Tors were more blue and purple in colour reflecting their faction's colour scheme. There are very few named Arcane Golem. Archelos was a golem loyal to Kael'thas, which was the final kill of a quest chain. Battletron is a fight within the Brawler's Guild, an organisation that puts on one-on-one -on -one fights to the death. Evercore the Punisher was a rare enemy spawn. Finally, most notable lore-wise is Arcanis Mechanica. Arcanis is the guardian of Grand Magister Romath. Lothamar's trusted advisor. Once fiercely loyal to Kael'thas, Romoth had been sent back by the prince from Outland. He taught other Blood Elves techniques to curb their magic addiction. After Kael'thas' betrayal, Romath was devastated, but after much soul-searching, remains a staunch ally to Lothamar. During the Burning Crusade expansion, the sealed Tower of Karazhan was opened. Demons and the reanimated dead walk the tower's corridors, a far more haunting scene than the Hearthstone adventure. Heroes step forward to cleanse the demons from the tower. Mages from all over the land no doubt approved of this decision, as locked away in Karazhan was the knowledge of the last guardian, Medivh, one of the most powerful mages to have ever lived upon Azeroth. As the heroes cleared the tower, Encountering two arcane golems on their way, they stepped into a hallway called the Menagerie, which led to Karazhan's library. The Menagerie itself displayed beautifully crafted bird statues and appeared to be frozen in time, pillars and part of the walls crumbling, but their pieces suspended in the air. Arcane elementals and mana worms filled the hallway, and walking between this hallway and the library, was the Curator, an arcane golem that dwarfed others of its kind. It would appear the Curator had been left to wander and protect the Menagerie by Medivh, and despite the Guardian not having dwelled within the tower for years, the Curator maintained its vigil. Upon seeing the heroes that had not been invited into the Menagerie by Medivh, the Curator launched into an attack. The Curator was able to summon sparks of pure arcane energy that crackled and damaged the heroes around them, while the Golem itself unleashed devastating blows. The Curator's magical assault did have limits, however. After summoning 10 astral sparks, it would enter a state of evocation, allowing the Golem to replenish its mana pool. During this time, however, the Curator was vulnerable to attack. Making sure to deal with the Astral Sparks and exploit the Curator's weakness, the heroes were eventually able to significantly damage the machine. This caused the Curator to switch to a different attack strategy, no longer summoning the Sparks or entering its evocation state. It hit extremely hard and more frequently flung out bolts of arcane energy. Despite this last ditch attempt, the heroes were able to shut down the Menagerie's defender. The Curator would also make an appearance within the Dark Riders comic. The Dark Riders were once travelling merchants that sought to swindle Medivh, trying to sell him fake artefacts. 
At this time, Medivh struggled to maintain a demonic presence within him, Sargeras, leader of the Burning Legion. It would appear that Sargeras was in control of Medivh at this point, as the Guardian became furious with the merchants for attempting to trick him. As punishment, Medivh transformed them into the Dark Riders. The curse saw the Riders travel across the land, discovering genuine magical artifacts and bringing them back to Karazhan. Despite heroes clearing Karazhan, the Dark Riders were not among those defeated, and they continued to pillage artifacts of power. This did, however, attract the attention of powerful individuals. Archmage Carlane, a great alchemist and mage still mourning the loss of his wife, who he accidentally killed trying to save. Revel Kost, a hot-headed priest of the Holy Light, with a hatred for the Worgen race after a group of them murdered his parents. And Brink, the gnome rogue who helped the others understand the Riders, working for a shady organisation. During a fight with the Riders, these allies, as well as members of the Nightwatch, Darkshire's militia, found themselves teleported to Karazhan, one of the Riders making use of the power of one of their artefacts. They found themselves within the menagerie. Within the hallway, they discovered a secret room, which housed all the artefacts the Dark Riders had collected over the years. This room was guarded by the Curator. Whether this is the same Curator heroes fought before in Karazhan, operational again, I'm not sure, though I suspect it is a different arcane golem of the same type. Brink refers to the construct as this trophy room's curator, which indicates to me Medivh may have had several of these golems, which he assigned to guard different areas of Karazhan. Either way, this curator joined the Dark Riders in attempting to rid Karazhan of its unexpected guests, crushing many members of the militia underfoot. Making use of one of the artifacts in the Dark Riders stash, Brink was able to send the Curator, Militia and Riders back in time two hours before the battle. Without him to initiate the events that would lead to this fight, it would not happen. But he and Revel obtained the artefacts they sought. So, there you have it, the small amount of lore that surrounds the Curator and the Arcane Golems. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can help maintain the channel by giving it a like, us a sub, and sharing the video around. Of course, if you want it to fall into disrepair, you can always hit the dislike button. But we may just end up attacking random people, and can you really live with that on your conscience? If you like the art, I've done my best to credit the artists in the description below, so go and check them out. If you want to keep up to date with Lore of the Cards and other Six Gamers stuff, follow us on Twitter, at The Six Gamers, and Facebook forward slash six gamers UK. Until next time, happy hearthstoning.